Hello boys and girls, it's Tinkerbells here, and welcome back to another installment of the demo of Pokemon Sun and Moon demo. Alright, so, um, yeah, let's let's get started over here. So, yesterday we did a lot of things, and I, I read somewhere that if you spin like this, I, yeah, there you go. This guy does a little twirl thing, look at that. So, you just basically just spin your, your pad, like around like this, and then it will spin and do a little animation like that. And the thing that I found yesterday of the guy, um, you know, tripping, is it, it's only if you like, like if you try to move and press B a lot, just spam the B button and and it will like do the like the tripping thing in there. So that's pretty pretty awesome uh, details that they have have added. So let's see if this guy is ready to give us something today. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, it's it's still today because yesterday I was playing like one a.m. in the morning. And right now is what, like 7 p.m. the same day, so still not today. Um, I don't think there is nothing new then to to find around. But um, oh, what is this girl? This girl wasn't here before. <gasps> what a beautiful be you. I wish I could share it with you. With who? With who? With me? I'm here. I'm the, hello. That's what I'm saying, you know. I, I just came here to see you. So what's what's going on here? Who? Who? who uh, these, this girl over here is Lily. Uh, she's supposed to be in school with you. And uh, I think that bag that she has there with a the Pokeball kind of sing thing, it has something inside there that keeps moving and she never shares it. She hates bottles, uh, she loves reading, and she's very mysterious. And she is pretty much the center of the whole Pokemon Sun and Moon. So it could be that she is a Pokemon, she is a mix between a Pokemon and a human. I don't know, there's so much like underground stories about her. Let's see a continuation. Oh, you see, you see, that thing is moving by itself. Oh, she found us. Oh, hello. Hello. I can ask who are you or what is in the freaking bag. But you know what? I, I don't think she's going to tell us what is in the bag. You know, like, oh, yeah, actually, this is this Pokemon that used to die and whatever. <laughs> I don't think she's going to say nothing like that. So let's just go simple. You, who are you? Should we? Uh, did you see a stranger and just ask what is in your bag or... Mm, 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 uh, yeah, who are you? Um, Professor Cuckoo is helping me to take care of my Pokemon and uh, Zoom! He's waiting for me, so I have to be going. I have to see you again sometime. And she has like this glow on her. What was that there? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna cut it right there. This is just too much for me. I need to I need to go check on the facts. <laughs> what was going on there? Where is she at? Uh, she went to see the professor. I know the professor is in the Pokemon Center. It's not here. Right? Hey, I need to talk to you, dude. You need something? Let's chat. Yeah, there's nothing, tell me nothing new. Nothing new, man. You suck. <laughs> you suck so bad. Aww. So where can we find that girl? Oh, she's totally just not gonna appear anymore. This demo's just getting better. How many days for this girl? Uh, five days. Five days. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, what else? What else can we do? Actually, we can't do nothing really. Let's just do some battles. Let's just do battle a little bit. You know, so you guys don't come and open this channel for nothing. Uh, held item. Let's give him. Let's give him an item. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? We have the Z ring. Let's give him a C ring. <laughs> This item cannot be used or given. Okay, whatever. Uh, what is it? Electrum C. Incompatible. Use this item. Yeah, just give it. <laughs> this button curl can use this crystal C power. Is that okay? Sure, why not? Oh. Oh, look at that. Now it's holding the Electrum C. And I got some coins. I've been beating some trainers and stuff. 
So I keep doing the, the, the other scene with the other guy and no matter how many times you go, it will just like wave his hand and be like, I knew it was rocks and whatever. I knew this rocks breaking sound was you and you know, but I have nothing to give you. It, it just repeats himself all over the game. Um, is this Taurus just scaring all the Pokemon? Just, just get off Terra right now. There we go, he was scaring them. <laughs> Alright, so Piggy Piggy's Greninja and Oh look at that, we got the Z power right there. Let's do the Z move. Yay! There is no usable moves. <laughs> Fail. Well at least we know we can actually put it on him and he will be able to actually even see it. So that's pretty cool. That's, a, that's an interesting thing to see. One thing that I notice over here is that he doesn't say, it doesn't show how much experience it actually levels up. So I think after a certain point or, or after a certain Pokemon, you just don't don't level up anymore. Because, you know, I was thinking, I'm gonna go make this Greninja level 100 before I get to the, to the actual Pokemon, but it hasn't moved anything. So let's see if... Um, if I can see the stats of this guy here, not the ear. Maybe here and there. And um summary. And then I cannot see I cannot see this the experience, right? Alright, let me just actually I'll I'll just run away from this battle and just check his status before actually battling anything. And see if we can actually level up. Because I'm thinking we can't. I have this this feeling that we can't level up. So. Experience for 43,808. To the next level is 4,038. So. 43,808. 808. Okay, so let's go battle something. Anything. A Piggy Peck or a Pikachu. Whatever. Hmm. A uh, well young goose appeared. There you go, the green ninja. And that's a stinky Mr. Trump. Get him some shower. There you go. One, two, and Donald Trump couldn't handle the shower. <laughs> All right, so we beat him. And he didn't show me how much experience I got. So if I come over here to the green ninja, Summary, I can see that, yep, it's not getting anything. One other thing here, it doesn't show you in the screens down or down here or in the over here, it doesn't show you, but if you press Y, you see it changes this thing. That's a pretty interesting thing. So it shows you what, um, this is his actually training level, whatever, um, you know, like the, the super train kind of thing, how much uh, extra points he's getting. And this is actually, I think, his base stats. And you can totally see, like, he has normal special defense, normal defense, normal HP. And his special attacks is a little bit higher, his attack is a little bit higher, and his speed is maximum. So, this Greninja over here has a speed that is a perfect IV for speed. It's a 31 speed. And uh, special attack and attack is okay, but the best one is speed, actually. So... That's how you can actually see the uh, the IVs of each Pokemon. You just press Y and you can see or over here. I'm pressing Y and you can see that it disappears. And this one with the center would be... The yellow one would be the best base IPs. Uh, base base IVs. So uh, when you get a Greninja, that's the basic thing. And if you get they get anything plus that, then you can see it on the blue. And I, I'm believing like if you get minus that, I think you will see it on red. Like eating up or something like that. Like if it has horrible stats or whatever so um yeah that was a, that was a cool thing to see if we were gonna be able to be be able to better breed and everything over here i believe i hope that the breeding center would be a, you know a nice loop like they had on 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 auras on mary ruben alpha fire that you can just like pick up your pokemon and just start walking or cycling or whatever i hope you can just like leave something and just running like that or what you do in kalos that you go to the center of um, the Lumino City and just like spin around, but then you have to go all the way back to the 
to the route where you can have the Pokemon, the breeders, and they give you the, the egg, and then you have to go all the way to Luminous City to, to do the spinning thing. I mean, I hope they make it easier for people to actually breed, because it, it, it is pretty hard, especially to get those eggs out and stuff like that. I, I think we're going to need something that is like a firebird or whatever, so we can fly and, and have that, that the flame body. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be totally fun. I don't think there is nothing here. Um, that was pretty interesting, that event of that, that girl over there. I've heard of another event, um, the Alohan Duke Trio. Alolan Duke Trio that would be shown in an island over here. <laughs> Why is this guy just standing there? Is it because I'm talking? Oh, he was just about to be walking. So this lady was over here. Yeah, looking good. I don't need your... So yeah, the, there's uh, people that has reported that they seen this girl over here. I think it's uh, around that area down there. And, and and she's like, I'm afraid of, there's something like that. Like she's afraid of something or she asked you to look at, at the, at the or horizon over there. There's a strange Pokemon or whatever, and there's where you can see the Duck Trio. That is, um, that is very interesting. Like, I really want to know what's, what's up with that. And come on, let's get a read of the Picky Pack. And as you can see, we defeated him, uh, he has fainted, and game over. Like, this is it. It doesn't show me if I get any exp experience points. So, there will be someone around here. As far as I've, 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 I've heard, and uh, you will see to the horizon over there, and there will be a Pokemon there waiting for you. So I think this is these are events. Everything is triggered. I don't know. It's not random, but I don't know what you have to do to in order to, to trigger these type of events. So yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. This is getting like it's very mysterious. It has a lot of time, a lot of things to do with the things you have done, the people you have talked to, like. If we haven't gone to the Pokemon Center at the beginning, it will keep us telling you to go to the Pokemon Center. And once you go to the Pokemon Center, the whole interaction with the environment changes. So that is pretty awesome. And um, it is not infinite. They do have like s certain things, but we don't know what are they. So it's pretty interesting to be discovering this with you guys and stuff. So if you guys know any, any other um, interesting detail that I'm missing or whatever, let me know. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it short this time. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.